Hi everyone, Alice Brown and Lady V here and bringing you our weekly update and we're calling this week, What's Next? We got asked um, sometime last week by a friend of ours, have we started the new, a new book since Remethist is completed? It's, it's been written, it's been edited. Um, the paperbacks you know. have been ordered. Yeah, the paperbacks have been ordered. So that's, that's the good news yay, for Yay, we're on time with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we'd go into detail because the answer is no, we have not started writing the new book. No. And here is why. It is very easy to think, oh, well, you just finish one book and you can go right into another. And I know authors that do that. And most of those authors have publishers and, you know, uh, people agents working, or something yeah, behind people working them. behind the scenes, working with them to do a lot of the footwork PA that, or, yeah, yeah. that Lady V and I do ourselves. So we thought we'd take the time to go through some of those steps that we're currently working with and then lay out the groundwork of what we have planned. Yeah, actually, <laughs> uh, once Alice hits the done button, you know, once the book is done, the edits have been done, the beta reading has been done, yeah, all of that's been done. It's actually my turn to kick it into high gear mm -hmm. because I'm the one that does all the promotionals, the marketing, the ads. I do all of that. She also does all the formatting too. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so Lady V and has that, a that's very a chore very, in itself. And I say Lady V has a very very important job. Um, we we kind of just kind of swap modes. Yeah, swap roles um, here because I usually take. Uh, lead on the writing she's very much involved in it and you very know much, we, yes. uh, you know go through everything together but I'm taking lead on that as far as when we get she's it done faster and typer. all that stuff but once that book is been completed we swap roles and I take a back seat and I put her in charge and <clears throat> that's when we start gearing up so let's go over the different steps so once we get through writing mm -hmm. uh, then we have the editing of course the editing. once the editing is done then it goes to our beta readers and beta readers come back with any of their um, their thoughts that there's yeah. a slight miss up you know sometimes we write a he instead of a she or a she instead of a he it, it happens yes it does <laughs> <laughs> once in a while you got a misspelled word in there yeah. uh, uh, you know words that sound the same spelled differently quite often there there yeah, there <laughs> I just, once in a while they, they mess me up and and so we get we get all that straightened out okay so in the meantime, while I'm working with the beta readers and getting all that taken care of, Lady V is gearing up for our promotional mm -hmm. uh, side of things. And we go through the book and pull out numerous snippets. We do. That are used in advertising. We, uh, Lady V is coming up, come up very, with some very good, um, what do you call those? Uh, I've been recently working on some aesthetic videos actually for the That's books. That's aesthetic video, okay. And uh, I think I just, I've just done my second or third one. It's so it, I'm still getting the hang of it, but they're actually quite fun to do. Yeah, then they're they're turned out good. Uh, you also take care of our website completely. I do. Yes, uh, anytime that there's 100%. new stock or orders that process through the website, um, new businesses that we come up with, with that we want to support, updating the writing percentage, keeping the shows up to date. That's all me. Yep. So. Um, you know, a lot of times when she's working on that and I'm not working on the book, that's when I will step back and go into the other side of things and uh, check up on shows and check to see if there's any that we need to sign up for, hotel reservations, any that we've <clears> missed that good getting stuff. the notification of that yeah. the, you know the show came through. You know, sometimes emails are tricky; they slide into your well. Uh, that just spams. happened to us a couple days ago. Yeah, it um, did. I have, thank goodness I had a contact for one of our shows coming up. And I called her and I'm like, um, I sent the application in several months ago. Haven't heard anything. What's going on? And she was like, well, we sent the emails out weeks ago. You, you, you know, we sent the invoices out to be paid and everything. I'm like, I didn't get anything. So we got that straightened out and we're good. And yep. yeah. And you know, sometimes it's just a simple misspelling of an email. It, mm -hmm. It's numerous things that could go glitchy in that yeah, scenario. Exactly. So getting back to the social media side of things though, yes. uh, we are currently on Instagram, TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We have the YouTube, YouTube of course, <laughs> shorts that go out, the regular YouTube video once a week as well. 
So we we are kind of killing it on the whole social yes. media platform, yes, if I do are. say so myself. But the other reason I take a step back and don't immediately go into starting a new book as soon as I get through with the other one is I like to savor. Yes. Savor that. Um, I, you know, we put a lot of emotions in Remethyst. And I also put a tremendous amount of pressure on myself to get that book finished. Well, you had a lot of pressure on yourself getting this one finished was because one of our beta readers went in for surgery right yeah. before the book was due to be finished. So she really wanted to get it finished prior to the surgery so the beta reader could actually enjoy the book. Yeah, which so... But we did it, but afterwards I just felt like I needed to take a step back and get a breather, take a breather mm -hmm. for a, just a small amount of time. And it's allowed us to get a couple home projects done that have desperately needed to be done. So we it's not like we're sitting on our butts. No. Well, believe me, we're busy. By any amount, no. The, uh, the, the formatting process itself mm -hmm. takes a good three to four days, and you wouldn't think that it, you know, saying that you're formatting a Word document to do that actually takes that long, but in all actuality, it does. Because you, I have four different formats that I'm I have to create. It has to, to be create. formatted in multiple different ways. Print is two different formats because we have the regular print and then the large size print. Mm -hmm. So you have to readjust everything once you, you know, go from your regular print size up to your large print size. Make sure your uh, new chapters are at Start the top on of the an page, actual new page and all that good and stuff. Yep. And, yeah, and that all, when you change your font, that changes tremendously so and all then that because has to be done. we also publish through a company called Smashwords for our ebooks they put their ebook they source out the ebook to Apple Books and Barnes and Nobles and Kobo that way we don't have to do it ourselves but they have a very strict guideline that you have to format to and then you go over to Amazon Kindle which is completely different, different. <laughs> so there are your four different formats right there and that that takes time it does it takes it does. a lot of time it usually takes me about a day per format mm -hmm. so as of right now we the the paperbacks have been formatted mm -hmm. um, this week I'll be starting on the ebooks. We ran into a small glitch on the large print, and so they had to be ordered a, you know, a couple days later, but we still, I believe we're going to get them on time. Oh, and yeah. it just It'll be very close, but we should. The, the regular ones will be in in plenty of time, the regular print. So, um, let's talk about the advertising. Okay. Because you, you have, uh, you take charge of that. I do. I do take charge of the advertising. I um, I design all the ads that we throw out mostly through a program called Canva. Canva is a godsend. I love it. <laughs> it is a wonderful program. It's great for people who really want control of their creativity and can really be it 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 works for if you have a vision for what you want your ad or your video or whatever you're putting together you want it to look like it is good for helping you put that together i yeah, used it for our bookmark designs i've used it for our youtube intro i've used it for a lot of stuff mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, advertisements and stuff at that least 90 percent of the advertisements are made mm -hmm. on camera yeah. <laughs> So we've got all that, and that takes time. It takes it a does. lot of creativity and time to come up with all these ads and you know putting them out because you want to do an advertise what we call an advertisement blitz yeah. uh, right before the book comes out, and that's where we are right now. Is yes, we're just we trying to blitz. get word out that we've got a book getting ready to come out and mm -hmm. uh, work on that. Yeah. At the same time, our fall show season is right around the corner. So it is, yes. in the background of all the formatting the books and working on the advertising and all like that we also are trying to gear up for show season because the month as of October 1st we are book solid yeah so actually in the middle mm -hmm. of doing up ads and snippets for Remethyst I'm also in the middle of doing up ads and advertisements or I'm in the middle of doing advertisements for our fall shows because mm -hmm. they're all right around the corner I know I've already got the next geek and grub done and I've got another geek and grub to do and then start for our shows in October which are four lined back to back mm -hmm. by this time by the time we get through with all that the release date is is almost it's upon us, us. <laughs> it's upon us it, it's gonna be here it's before creeping we know upon it us. and 
So to relish that day, because it means so much. You put so much hard work into the book and then even afterwards, and, and a lot of people don't realize behind the scenes what all goes on and how mm -hmm. much time, all the advertising and keeping up with a website, keeping up with shows, finding new shows, all that uh, takes a lot of time and effort. Um, so at that point, we just decide to wait and enjoy that release day. But once the release date is over, then we jump into the next book. So with that all being said, Ruben Meyer, Dragons of Dragon 5, which will be the next one coming out, uh, has not been started yet, but it will be. Yes. It will be. We will probably jump on that just as soon as the release date mm -hmm. for Remethyst. Well, we have a, uh, a writing retreat scheduled in the end of, of September. The and last I, week of September, yes. I looking am looking so to forward. get a lot of work done in Remethyst yes. that week. Yes, it'll be for an entire or week. Or Ruben Meyer. I'm Rubenmeyer. sorry, I said Remethyst. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben Meyer. <laughs> Ruben Meyer, yeah. Uh, as we hinted uh, next uh, last week's video, mm -hmm. there will be a 5.5 Dragonos out. And this is going to be an anthology. I can't give you a lot of details as of yet because the We're still characters... The plotting well, the, I know the characters. The characters are going to be n mostly new characters mm -hmm. that you meet in book four. And that's the reason I can't give you any more because I'll be giving you spoilers and I can't do that. No. So. <laughs> Gotta go read the book first. So uh, once the book is released and we have a chance, you know, everybody has a chance to read it, then I will be releasing more information about this 5.5 yes. anthology. So um, those two will be working on hot and heavy we've actually i've already started 5.5 yeah i i was um, gonna say we'll probably be doing five and 5.5 simultaneously together yes because a lot of your characters coincide in mm -hmm. both bo uh, between four five and 5.5 5. they just kind of all mesh <laughs> together so stay tuned for more details on that uh but we will also be having a uh, Dragon 06 and 07. And for those of you that have been following us from the get-go, you know that this series originally only went to five. Ruben, yep. uh, Ruben Meyer was the last book that was um, published so technically years ago. So three new so books there will be coming three in this new series. Books in this series. And no, we have not forgotten about my monsters. Uh, Monster Mob. Monster Mob. Um, my Were Bear will be the second book in that one. And although we have just barely scratched the surface in that one, um, we will be jumping over. I, right now, my head is in Dragonos, and that's <laughs> I mean, we're just running with it and seeing how far we can take it. But... Uh, eventually, the Dragonos and uh, Monster Mob world will coincide, and we'll bring everything together and yeah. run with that. So that's I think that's all I've got to go that's over. That's all this you had week. on your notes. Yeah. Got any more you want to go over? No, I think we pretty much covered it. Okay. Do so be sure release to is the thirteenth. Yes. Thirteenth of thirteenth of September. Yeah. September. Yeah. So it's, it it's coming up. <laughs> it's going to be here before we know it. Just uh, what had about so much a week going and a half? I forgot what month it was. We're getting like a week and a half, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. So Sounds that's about right. Yeah. So not, not and you know, on Tuesday, the release day, we will be coming to you with an unboxing of yes. the beautiful covers. I cannot <laughs> wait to see these in person. I am so excited for these. Oh, I know. Again, uh, mostly because it's giving me Maleficent vibes. I just really want to be able to hold that while watching <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Well, the the book itself, the end, the story itself yeah. turned out so fantastic. I. I'm just I'm blown away with this one. We really outdid ourselves. I, I don't think. know if any other authors out there do this, but I definitely once release day hits, I have the nice enjoyment of release day. But that night, I sit down and I reread the book. Mm -hmm. Once I get that physical copy in my hand, I sit down and sit down it. and read it. Yeah. I've written it. I know it inside and out and upside down and whichever way you want to turn it. But I sit down and reread it. Well, you know, for me, it it uh, I do that also, but I do that so that I can refamiliarize myself with everything to go into the next book. True. So um, that helps. You know, like uh, right before I, but right before we start my werebear, mm -hmm. you'll reread. Re I'll reread my vampire. my vampire just so I can you know from get make sure I've got everything clear in my head, jot down some notes, and, mm -hmm. you know, go back and reread my notes from when I writ, wrote the first book and go from there. So yeah, um, in reading Remethyst on release night, it will prepare us to get to take that step forward, forward to go for to the next book. Yeah. So yep. All right. 
I think that's going to wrap it up for today. It does. Be sure to check out all of our fantastic advertising and clips and snippets over on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Our links are down in the description, so you can go find us there. All right, and until next week, have a great day.